Hey everybody, this is Matthew Seville with SLRLounge.com and I have another weekly Lightroom edit for you. Now what we have is a natural light portrait here. This is from a recent video that uh, you should definitely check out. This is going to be a bright, vibrant, uh, but, shat but also with the dark shadows here uh, this por in this portrait. And so I want to keep it soft, you know, around her, the skin tone and everything. But I also want it to really pop around the, the rest of the photo. So let's have a look at the original image here and see what we're working with. This is definitely uh, very flat, but the exposure is decent. And I've got a lot of potential here for all this color. So what I want to do is produce it to have a lot of contrast and have a lot of uh, vibrant colors but without, uh, without ruining skin tone or anything like that. So I'm going to produce this image using the SLR Lounge Lightroom 4 preset system, but even if you don't have the presets, you can still follow along in Lightroom just as easy. Uh, let's go into the develop module here by hitting D, and then I'm going to hit I to hide my info there from the camera. So let's start off, of course, soft portrait in my mixology, the standard import here. Gives it a little bit of uh, clarity and pop, but it's still gentle on the skin tones. I want to zoom in and correct the shot for skin tones just in case it needs something. I think I just want to add a little bit of tint, uh, which is common for shooting in this, you know, she's got green grass and bushes all around. So I'm going to get a little bit of pink in there, maybe to plus seven. And then after that, when I think I have the white balance where I want it, the next step is to decide how to process the overall image. Now I have two options. I could process it globally and to make it pop, and then I could use brushes to repair the skin tone. You know, if I wanted to do, uh, if I wanted to darken the blacks and, and give it some contrast overall right here, I could, I could get the, uh, the overall image looking great, but then the skin tones are gonna kinda get uh, kinda crunchy and dark, and I don't want that. My other option, let's go back to uh, the standard color soft portrait here. My other option is to process it for the skin tones, the globally, the whole image, and then use brushes to, to kind of generally go over this. And usually I prefer that method because it allows me to be a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say sloppy, but a little bit easier, faster with brushing because I don't have to do this delicate edge uh, in the repair work. So you know what I mean. Anyways, so let's uh, let's start here. Let me. Uh, I like my medium darken on the uh, shadows here. Get those shadows kind of down a little bit, and then let's uh, let's also kick in. Let's see. I want some special effects. I want to give it a light radial vignette or a medium radial vignette. Uh, medium is just a little bit much, but I'm gonna tone it down like this. So I like it right there like that. Now let's get started with brushes. I'm going to hit K to bring up my brushes and I'm going to go straight to a dose of natural nature color and just enhance the whole image overall. Just brush it on over the entire thing and then I'm going to grab the brush and intensify it even more until the area around here looks great. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush it off in a general way so I don't have to be too precise with the skin tones here and these edges. Uh, I'll get my flow up. My flow is turned down. I'm holding down Alt. I'm holding down Alt to erase like this. I'm going to turn my flow up to 100% and just kind of gently go over this like that. Get all that back. So there we go. Just a, And then I'm going to drop my flow a tiny bit. And then I'm just going to click once or twice over this whole area just to kind of uh, give it a little bit be good, better of a feather. So I like that like that. I'm going to hit K to uh, to get the brushes uh, finished and then hit K again to come back to the brush. Next I'm going to hit it with something else, a little bit of a sky cloud ocean just around the edges just to kind of enhance it a little bit more like that. There we go. 
So I like this, but the sky cloud ocean definitely uh, needs needs some tweaking. So instead of grabbing it right here and doing it globally, I'm going to go in and do it like this to the shadows individually. Bring those shadows back because I already have enough vignetting, so I don't want it to. I don't want the shadows to get too much darker. So I'm going to leave the shadows right around there. I'm going to bump the exposure up a tiny bit because I already, like I said, I already applied the vignetting I want. So, and then the last thing is. I'm going to hit enter to uh, enter that brush and create a new brush here. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my highlights here, one of these defaults, and just kind of touch that a tiny bit and touch this a tiny bit, kind of get these get these all down here so that uh, I can de-emphasize those areas a little bit, kind of brush them over just, to, just gently. So now I really do like this the way it is right here. I'm gonna hit uh, K to go out of the brushes and just kind of have a look at that. I think maybe I'll do a slight uh, burn and dodge to brighten the skin tones overall and just go here to brighten, maybe throttle it back to 0.5 with my arrow key hovering over that and then just kind of tap it on a tiny bit. Uh, even 0.5 is a bit much, so maybe down to 0.2 right there looks good. Let's uh, reveal and hide this to kind of see where we're going. There, that looks good like that. I'm liking the overall uh, change, how it kind of emphasizes her and it kind of, but it also enhances all of this area around here. The last thing I may want to do is, since I didn't use a reflector for this particular shot, I may want to add a catch light or enhance whatever catch light is there. So I'm gonna hit enter to uh, save that brush and then I'm going to hold down spacebar and zoom in by clicking and I'm going to hit control plus or command plus to go even further so now I can see this uh, catch light here and I've got a brush for catch light enhancing this one right here so I'm just going to get it nice and small and then just tap it on right there like that just a little bit oh I can't see that brush I'm going to hit T and then just change my edit pins to never show so that that goes away so that now I can brush this on a little bit more and then I'm going to play with it from there by dialing the exposure up now that's a little bit too obvious I'll leave my exposure there but I'm gonna go contrast highlights highlights up all the way probably uh, let's zoom out I'm gonna hit K again and then zoom out just to see what I've got going on there. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of a sparkle in her eyes now. I may want to just add a tiny bit of uh, enhancing here to the overall image, I mean the overall eye. So maybe do eye brightener right about there, just one tap, two taps, one tap brush, two taps, right there like that. I like that. Uh, might be, it might be a little bit too crazy eyes. Let's see, let's see, let's zoom out. Yeah, I'm going to need to throttle back on that a tiny bit. So I'm going to change my edit pins to always and then take this one and just kind of throttle it back a little bit. So let's see. Let's uh, reveal that and bring that back. That looks good right about there like that. Okay. So I'm going to hit K again and then click to zoom out. And that right about there is good. The only other thing I could imagine doing is uh, going into Photoshop and of course in a backlit situation you're always going to have flyaway standing out and I've got this stick here that kind of intersects her head. The only thing, so the only thing I could imagine doing is going into Photoshop and doing something like this where I retouch out all of that stuff. Um, and there you go. That is the final image right there. I'm happy with it right there like that. So take care folks and we will see you in our next tutorial.